hand clap to the mask you guys we finally back again for another one of the one and only mr Lix reaction and guys big up all the mr Lix youtube family out and large all over the entire universe right there big up yourself one time and of course the newcomers are there big up yourself as well for tuning to yet another reaction video if you haven't done so guys definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification click the bell man click the bell after you subscribe and then click all so you'll be notified pretty much of when i drop my videos right there and then so guys with that said don't forget to download the mr Lix tube app in the first coming in the coming box below guys definitely check that out right there in this regard now guys let's get into the reaction video there's actually something that was sent to me via mo news and of course it's talking about some sort of oil spill in the canefield region and as you can see the road have different colors guys it's not rainbows that shining on the road you know guys it's the, there's chemicals on the road and if you see this don't try to say oh look nice and go and drive in it no guys don't do this at all as indicated right there there's a traffic alert please take note that there is an oil spill along upper canefield roger road all uh through and trim so it's not just in one place there's a number of areas where there is sort of some sort of oil spill on the road and of course drivers are asked to be extremely cautious and proceed with caution so you have to be cautious and then proceed with what caution brothers and sisters don't be afraid of being cautious right there as you can see the nice colorful roads this is not a, a sign of of, of anti-man pride <laughs> this is not a sign of anti-man pride but you know be careful on the road right there guys talking about canefield region guys there's actually another accident uh well an accident in the canefield region yesterday i believe it is including these vehicles that you're seeing right there bus drivers bus drivers have to take it easy take it easy on the road for me now please i thought say that you know and all you just doesn't listen to me take it easy on the road man Marquesa, after all uh, it seems like there were some individuals in the bus um i haven't heard of anybody being injured it doesn't seem like there's anything you know too severe as you can see right there it just has a little dent hopefully the individual in the jeep is okay um maybe a little you know frightened people got scared or whatnot but um thank god everybody's alive and well that is the big key right there being alive and well this is actually a video of it and you'll get an, an instant of exactly where it is it looks like this area is where you go down to get to Comcast, Clay Harbour. I don't know if it's Comcast now, but Clay Harbour. <laughs> and as you can see, this is the vehicle right there. It looks like there's three vehicles. It looks like there's three vehicles. Maybe this bus was trying to overtake, but what is this vehicle doing right there? I don't... I, what do you think is wrong in this instance, guys? Because I'm, I'm, I can't really tell what's going on. It seems like this vehicle maybe oh it was probably trying to go yeah it's okay so this is where vehicles come this way and then on that side of the road the left side people tend to go down to rosa side so this vehicle most likely was coming out of that road region right there um let me see if i can get a better shot for you guys coming out from there and then it ended up this probably was trying the bus was trouble let me show you the bus the bus was probably trying to overtake the other bus over there and ended up in this predicament but anyway you look at it uh an accident take place so yeah <laughs> it seems like this guy probably is the bus driver or the vehicle owner um it's quite unfortunate that this has happened guys and these things tend to happen it's not like you know people want to bonk their vehicle i don't think people want to willfully bonk their vehicle unless you know <laughs> you have some sort of ulterior motive or view of life you know what i mean <laughs> and a nice gift at the back we the bus driver was probably trying to bring a, a nice gift basket to to his girlfriend maybe i don't know <laughs> but there's a gift basket basket at the back i'm surprised nobody took it that's good no thief did that that, that thief again <laughs> you see me and there's another video right there guys this is another video i should have make this thing bigger let me make this thing bigger for you guys yes guys technology right there we are technology do free <laughs> accident So in this one, I'm not sure if this one, where the bus went. I don't know. Oh, okay. So apparently there's somebody who's injured on the bus. Guys, please take it easy on the road for me, please. 
But um, it's quite unfortunate that this person got injured. But not only Dedo, guys, but I also heard that in the Dailies area, there was another incident. Now, it looks like this vehicle, from what I'm seeing from this photo, this vehicle came from on top there. The vehicle was like, you know what? We have shortcut to take it. A bush. Let me pass in the bush. And it ended up coming all the way down there, guys. I don't know. Or maybe it was trying, or he was trying to go up the, the thing instead of taking the long road. <laughs> gas prices go up, man. You have to conserve gas. <laughs> so Uncle probably tried to take a shortcut there and end up in another incident. And an incident right there. Uh, it seems like people are gathering, well, people gathered around there to ensure if the individual was okay. But I don't think anything serious happened as a result of that. If he actually did come down from there, then um and he ended up turning and stuff i don't know if the vehicle turned over but the vehicle looks okay hopefully the individuals in the vehicle are also okay right there and anyways guys we move it along and uh we're going to liat man we need more liat brothers and sisters liat coming through anyways apparently according to gaston brown regional airline liat 1974 is to be liquidated i actually stated that some time back when i was talking about liat and the reference to liat and of course, they're planning to make some sort of Liat 2020, from my understanding, right there. But individuals have a number of things to, to comment when it comes down to Liat. Governments hiring expensive consultants, only to be told, keep government involvement out. That's interesting. Keep government involvement out, and that's what the consultant individuals are telling them. That so we don't we don't want to listen, or we just decide to do whatever we want, regardless of what them consultants say. We just want to hire a consultant, maybe giving the people, give the people, the layout people their money, man. That's what we need to do right there. I'm sure lots of new doors has opened for many of, I don't know what that person is saying right there. Let me see um, if I can get it. Um, uh, let me see. Nope. Well, I guess I miss it. But more doors will be opening as a result of this whole thing. I think they're literally negotiating with the, the Nigerian um, individuals. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Um, Prime Minister Honorable Gaston Brown says the government is about to upscale investments in Antigua based Liat. With support from several Caribbean countries, the head of government made the disclosure during a signing ceremony between the government of government and Nigeria between the government and Nigeria based marvelous Mike Press limited interesting name uh, for the establishment of antigua airways so i'm guessing that they're trying to do some collaboration with 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 antigua and making some sort of antigua airways i think that's one of the ways um that people from africa will be able to fly into the caribbean straight without going to europe or the united states they'll fly straight which i think makes more sense why are people travel traveling from from the caribbean to go to africa and they have to go to europe that makes no sense to me hurricanes traveling at 15 miles per one in five days they in the caribbean we can obviously fly to west africa man come on and this is not the first time people have been traveling back and forth back in the day before christopher columbus if you guys know your history well maybe not your issue but you'll understand that uh people used to use canoes to travel all the way from west africa to the caribbean to south america so it was blacks and natives blacks and brown people that were actually there before christopher columbus came, them came and said that they discover an island stop your dirty ways christopher columbus man stop your dirty ways anyways people had more things to say right there when it comes on to liat so what was all this show by gaston we are right back where we pretty much started two years ago remember they were saying they had to liquidate liat and so forth and so forth then they prevented liat from stopping then you they they, they pretty much diminished the amount of airlines uh airplanes that they actually had um it went from i think eight to now two two or three and that's because barbados barbados was one of the um, um shareholders that bought into liat from my understanding and um i guess in the this whole thing is very confusing indeed because they are pretty much we are pretty much right back where we started right there but the only difference is nigeria is planning to come on board to help um set up some sort of new uh, um, um, Antigua Airway for them to be able to travel back and forth. Obviously, it'll be Antigua Airway will most likely be traveling throughout the Caribbean as well. Uh, but I think they're also trying to do some sort of Liat 2022. Um, 20, not 2022, 2020. Trying to liquidate. But they need to pay them workers, man. They need to pay them workers. Some person, some person studied this already and was like, well, it's now Dominica becomes an isolated, desolate, forgotten country. It seems like 
uh, since uh, the Nigerian company is working with Antigua and other Barbados are trying to do and Barbados is trying to do their own thing as well. So there, there, there's a number of you know interesting specs when it comes down to this. What is Dominica doing? And this individual was saying Dominica seems to be a forgotten country. Look how long um, the prime minister gave um, the international airport in a box. Yeah, we have to uh, right now. We should have like twelve international airports in Dominica. I, I think we should we should be able to travel on the worldwide straight to pa straight to to Australia, man. From the amount of international airports that that we were told that we were gonna be having. But anyway, so how people go in and get in and out of Dominica? They will just use the planes that 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 are there, guys. I think Inter Caribbean. Um, Caribbean Airlines and a number of others um, have been coming to Dominica from time to time since when Liat went down um, they actually uh, did do some sort of uh, a deal uh, but I guess as Liat you know started flying again you know it went back to square one but we need more planes man we need varieties that will of course create competition and as a result of competition prices will be lowered may the best man win you see me anyways guys moving along right there Prime Minister says um yeah i just read read this a while ago so that's the the individuals that they're planning to link up with i'm guessing maybe the the nigerian based uh marvelous mike press limited and the government them will figure out how they're going to be paying the individuals who are working in liat and they need to figure this out i myself i just concerned about this very thing right there stop cutting one chicken wing in half and selling it as two wings. Now stop your naughty ways. What are you doing that for? People are hungry. You want to take a piece of the chicken out. And then tell people they have to buy it again. It's gas prices that they're the boy. Man have to be cutting chicken in half. For them to be able to make a living. No boy. Stop that man. Come on. Anyways guys. Moving along. Considering the whole uh, athletic meet um, in Birmingham. We know that one of the individuals who represents Dominica. Or I'm not sure if she's from Dominica. She has an accent. You'll hear it in a while. But she has an accent, an American accent. And um, she was representing Dominica in the 400 meet. Oh, not 400, but the long jump. Her name is Maria Toussaint. But she apparently did not qualify, uh, did not make it out of the qualify round. So she didn't qualify right there. Of course, we just want to tell Maria we are still proud of her. Big up to her one time for doing her thing, man. Big up to Maria, man. After all. After all, Maria. Yes, sir. Well, you jump, you jump in, Papa. But this is what she had to say right there, guys. Take a listen. The event, how did it go to play? So I came out there. I felt really confident. Like I said in our pre-interview, um, I feel like I prepared all year, literally since September. Came out here very confident. Um, I got my steps. One of the things that was a little bit difficult today was that we had a lot of tailwind. So if you don't know what tailwind is, it's when you just get pushed forward. So you have to adjust a lot. And so we did a lot of adjustment by um, placing my mark further back, but I felt like we needed to do it further and further. So if you get to take a look at the jumps i was jumping big i had great push off great runway i just didn't have a chance to actually hit that mark right on uh where i wanted to be and it was a bunch of big fouls really big fouls so in terms of you probably don't understand what she's saying there there's a mark that you have to jump off from that you then go into the sand pit it seems like she was missing that mark as a result of the different weather conditions um, and of course, if you're training under certain conditions, sometimes it can vary for you when you go to a different climate area and that can sometimes mess you up. I think Thea, Thea uh, the triple jumper, uh, the female triple jumper, she was also sitting something like that when she did the, um, um, the Olympics. So she was pretty much saying something of that effect when it comes down to the conditions and what have you. But um, they, they represented and we just want to say kudos to you guys. Big up yourself one time right there anyways guys i saw this a number of persons were sending this stuff for me uh man you guys are something else you <laughs> that is the best i don't get it i don't get it but maybe you guys can get it let's take a listen to this right there Linton, boy, I, 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 I tell you, we, we, we can make the airport right there you know, on your road you know the, the plane will come in from from my dbs radio and then you can just go around the roundabout one time my fortune to take off <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you magical with a eh? different. Yes, son, we scared. Oh, what? Why are they making the look sound like a mafu me for? A different. Yes, son, we scared. Oh, what? Oh, what? Why we scared? Why did we boy? Yes, boy, I can walk gas, sir. And the plane taking the wrong about one time. And the state house is the terminal way. What's scary, but when we going to get that plane? We need that plane. 
We need a plane. Antigua said Antigua have his, um, what do you call that? Antigua Airways, they plan to link up. So, hey, that's a good question to ask. When we get our own plane, no Dominican Airways, <laughs> how you mean that, boy? Dominica, we are literally in the middle of the Caribbean, you know, guys. We are literally smack that middle in the Caribbean. So, I think if anything has to happen, countries, they should be flying to us. But then again, everybody has their own international airport, so they can fly directly to these countries. But when is Dominica going to get their, their stuff? I mean, we have a... Look, they're talking about building airport in rows. <laughs> I mean, this is a joke uh, going around the roundabout. I don't know what kind of plane all you... What kind of plane? A drone all you going... A drone here in internationally away. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is just rather interesting. But let me just play this for you guys right there. There's something rather interesting going on. Let's take a listen to this. On Wednesday, 27th, July 2022, about 7.25 p.m., the Portsmouth police intercepted Kerwin Heather Davis of Concord hmm. while attempting to steal a solar panel from a light pole at Point Round. Ah, I knew that. I knew. Listen, so I don't know if it's a person now. Uh, not that. Me and my brother were coming down from, from Kulibi Street and we saw that certain lampposts, um, them um, solar lights were disappearing. We noticed this. And I said it wouldn't make sense for somebody from Portsmouth to be taking the solar lights in the, in the point wrong region. It don't make no sense. So it's Concord. You see how far man trying to come and get some free electricity. <laughs> man coming right from Concord, we boy, to come to Portsmouth point wrong area for them to be able to take the solar lights. I said it makes sense that way. If you were a, a brilliant thief, well, hopefully you wouldn't get caught. But this one, you get caught. But um, people who tiffing the solar lights i don't i don't think they, they're tiffing it from the community it wouldn't make sense it's not logical to do something like this if you if you you you, you know you're thinking hey i want to get a solar maybe i should take one in the community and then have it on top of your house as if people can see and when they see the solar light missing they'll say hey you don't take it your volley so it only makes sense that people would take the solar lights who come from far places just like if you have to do some robbery and guys don't get me i'm not telling people to go rob <laughs> I think it only makes sense that you do not rob people in your community. You go somewhere else to rob so they wouldn't pinpoint you. Anyways, guys, you didn't learn that from me. It does make sense. It just makes sense right there when it comes down to the solar thing. And they said that the individual was volleying the lights and he was volleying in the Point Wrong region. He lived right Concord. Huh? Concord, you live to come posse and volley light. So when man trying to see in the night, their light on their vehicle working properly, problem in the night time for you not to see. So I think that is a thanks to them Popo for doing something about this. This thing, there's another video, uh, another audio clip right there that I have to play for you guys in concerning to something uh, related to, to um, prison itself. But let's take a listen to this. He was arrested and charged for the offense. He was taken to the Portsmouth Magistrates Court on Tuesday, 2nd of August, 2022, hmm. where he pled guilty to the charge of attempting to steal the said solar panel. Hmm. Man just want to get free electricity. Hey, they bring down price. They don't bring down price now. Take it easy for me now, please. They bring down price. No need to go and vole solar. Buy your own solar and, and bring it. But then in customs, my, my quave you. I uh, yet have certain deals that they give in to, to individuals, you know, who plan to bring certain things down i don't know how what is the rule for for solar's solar equipment into dominica via customs but hey try a stunt man he was sentenced to two years hard labor <laughs> at the state boy that is that is something else boy for you to go and thief solar light <laughs> and two years they have to spend in prison doing hard labor man and what they does make them them prisoners build buildings and stuff i don't know that's something else eh? but stop thiefing man Stop TV'n! The Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force Sorry, would like to warn persons who are engaged in such illegal acts to cease and desist. Well, is it illegal? Well, it's, I think it's illegal to steal. So, yeah, it makes sense. I was just thinking, is it is it written that you shouldn't steal solar lights in the law books or something? But, yeah, volleying is not a good thing at all. For such acts are being taken seriously Very seriously yes i notice sometimes and guys i understand sometimes them solar lights don't work uh, if, if if you go in depending on the time of night that you're rolling out sometimes them solar lights finish light eh? they finish they finish their job <laughs> they go home 
But um, even if they're lighting or not, I don't think you should be going and take take the solar lights. I mean, the solar lights are there to ensure that the, the roads are lit and to see if any craziness is happening on the road. You know, the, the, the you, why why we want to be in darkness for the... Stop being selfish, man. Stop your door three ways, man. Anyways, guys, this is another one that was being sent to me right there. Um, Before I play this, I want to I wanna read this thing for you guys. It's on Blackmore, guys. The Blackmore Vela is interesting right there. Anyways, let's let's go back up and see what's going on. Listen to the Blackmore speak about the child and spousal uh, A. You know, I cannot say that on YouTube. In Parliament was a classic case of hypocrisy on steroids. Hypocrite, man. Bad man and hypocrite. Anyways, not so long ago, Reginald Austri, a cabinet colleague of Blackmore, was on record telling us how, how you know this word is, how, how, um, um, what is the word I want to use for this now? How wicked Blackmore <laughs> was to a certain concubine. So Reginald apparently put this out there to the point I think that's where they will play in his voice note. And nothing has happened as a result of that. But anyways, Reginald was apparently stating uh, how wicked Blackmore was to a concubine to the point where he was using the very five of themselves to monitor the woman because she had a swing, a fling with another fella who will remain nameless. Baby Sarah still has not received justice for her passing while still in the stomach of this very same concubine right there. As far as Blackmore is concerned, uh, um, this word um, is only physical. Interesting. Blackmore should be, should be told that physical, phys, this physical act is not the only uh, type of uh, um, you know, wickedness there is. The psychological and emotional wickedness that he dishes out to his wife is even more um, damaging uh, than anything he could do to her physically. That's another, another interesting part. And plus, you have to keep in mind that women are emotional creatures. So you cannot just come for them and try to mash up their emotions. What do we find the first place for? Stop your naughty ways, man. Anyways, Blackmore should also be reminded that his physical wickedness to, of his wife only stopped when Jolo's son had to warn him to never make that mistake to raise your hand on my mama again. They put him in his placement. This is why, you know, you, all right. Blackmore seems to have forgotten how Saiyan, why is that Dragon Ball Z man? How Saiyan, Saiyan almost two feet under his chokehold. I, I guess that's some sort of man right there um, from him until her neighbor had to intervene. So apparently, well, that's not a man, that's a woman apparently, until her neighbor. So that means Saiyan is a woman. Interesting. Yes, it is hypocritical to pontificate on an issue that you are one of the biggest offenders of this is one of the things that i notice when people are trying to make themselves look better they pretend and come out and say face by stating things that they are doing and pretending that when they say it, that people will completely forget what they have done in the past or may still be doing in the present you did certain things and coming on 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 the parliament podium and then you're talking as if People didn't know about this situation that was taking place. Your own member came in and spoke about that in a voice note. I remember hearing that voice note right there. And then you come in on the podium as if you have been rehabilitated of some sort to come and say nice things. It's always good to say nice things, you know, no doubt about it. Say wonderful things. But if you're saying wonderful things and you would, your act is against what you're saying, you are a hypocrite. I need to stop your everlasting dirty ways. This is very hypo hypocritical to pont pontificate an issue that you are one of the biggest offenders of. So until you have said your me, why is that make cool, make cool, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I say in there, <laughs> but let us leave that alone, brothers and sisters. You should hush your mouth, Blackmore, on this issue. I think this is him speaking right there. Let's take a listen. <laughs> so you know people thinking these things about you. <laughs> you know think people thinking these things about you and you come in and talk about the very same. You should close your mouth. Say I'm trying to stop my dirty ways, but I think other individuals need to stop their dirty ways too. You do not put yourself on a high horse when you are equally as guilty for that which you are, uh, you are against other people doing. That's crazy. Because it's the same people I see them on television. I see the police. 
including myself. You should say that as well. There's a big gap in space. You should say including myself. And there are a number of persons who are witness to seeing these kind of things, you know. I think where they say it was freshwater lake or something like that. In freshwater lake somewhere on top there and they heard certain things and, 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 and what have you. Well, it's alleged their brothers and sisters, mind me. <laughs> but I did hear uh, uh, the voice note of Reginald. So you, you have no respect for yourself either. You have no respect for yourself. The big question here is, of course, we remember baby Sarah. And we cannot forget that. Just like people think we will forget about Kanisha Etienne, we would not forget about that one either. And it's rather interesting, he's the one in charge of the very popo themselves. The authority figures, the officers. That is his department. So the big question here is, based off your own department, you are then speaking against something that you yourself, we know about baby Sarah. Where she end up losing the child as a result of some sort of where it's alleged some sort of altercation with you. And then you coming in parliament and saying I have irrespective of what you think about me. We cannot it's not irrespective. We we thinking that about you. And you need to stop your dirty ways if you're still doing this. Who knows? He might have changed his dirty ways. And come to the realization, but he's now pretending as if he never did none of, none of the stuff. That cannot be. If that be the case, that cannot be. So I'm, I'm, I'm for it. You need to rectify your everlasting dirty ways and then so we can move forward. Before you come and tell people these things, but you must also include yourself in this. Or people will see you as what they stated right there, a hypocrite. Guys, what are your thoughts on this, man? Let me know your thoughts right there. Uh, this was a rather interesting photo. But apparently, this is baby Sarah. I don't know. Apparently, that's what they say. That's her. So I don't know what, what is the word on this thing right there. Guys, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. This is pretty much all about for this here reaction video. I just thought I'd put this out there. Let me know your thoughts, man. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that post notification if you have not done so. And definitely download the Mr. Tube app right there. Like I said before, guys, give this video a thumbs up, and you will get them vibrations when they tend to come through. Of course, I'll appreciate it. It'll cause the algorithm of YouTube push these videos further and further right there anyways guys this is pretty much all about for you out this is pretty much all about for this year reaction video i'll see you guys in the next reaction video boom bang